Felix has been in this cell for 19 years, 8 months, 23 days, 2 hours and 47 minutes. On the outside of the shoebox size window, there's a fallen pear tree. It fell 15 days ago. It is not yet dead. It has leaves and a bird's nest. The next spring, there will be no fruit on this tree. No leaves, no birds, only the worms and mites feeding this decay. For now, its last pears are suspended on its branches, gently waving in the wind. Its thorny boughs and sweet wild pears have caught Felix's gaze in a natural means they have stood there. He likes to imagine the flames that will burst on his tongue, the tears on his skin after he climbs to reach its root. How would it taste? How would it hurt? The tree has fallen. By next spring, no fruit will be found. And it's snapped in my gold arm. Felix sits in the left corner of his cell for the 3456th time. Tomorrow he will sit in the same corner for the 3457th time. He will take a sniff from his favourite brand of paint thinner, paint beef in. A new vice he has recently picked up. He's lying to himself. He says it helps days go by, but in reality it's due to a deep and uncontrollable fear of his own shadow. Next spring, Felix will die, along with the pear tree. This is because of his passion for solving abuse and the vitamin D deficiency. Peacefully, he will pass, sat in the left corner of his cell, eyes pointed to the empty, long, and spiraling arms of the tree and the blue sky behind it. He will die in comfort. Seeds would never grow, even.